Guys, Twitter's done it again. Twitter is at it again, unironically calling Ricky Berwick, this Ricky Berwick, a Nazi. Now, I have no idea how Ricky Berwick can be considered a Nazi. But according to Twitter, and specifically the user Keffels, that is the case. Or at least adjacent to them, or friendly with them. She basically thinks Ricky Berwick sucks. And it all stemmed from some horrible comments made to her by another YouTuber called The Quartering. Someone called Neko tells The Quartering that he's too scared to debate Keffels, who is trans, and Quartering captions that by saying, Like I said, I'm an aggressive feminist. When I share my platform, it will be with a woman. Obviously implying that Keffels is not a real woman, due to her being born male. Dark Wizard says to The Quartering, Damn bro, you really pissed off the alphabet losers tonight. Laughing my ass off, I love it. The Quartering quote tweets him and says, The tactics of the dude is to tell his followers that I'm going to show up for a stream, even though he never asked me to be there. And then they flood my feed based on his lies. He is welcome to invite me and perhaps I would show up, but since he's more concerned with lies. Now whenever people go out of their way to misgender someone who has clearly finished transitioning, such as Keffel, I always find it like so weird and out of place. Like, are you gonna tell me this looks masculine? Like if you saw this person on the street, you would immediately think it's a guy. It's just ridiculous. But moving on, we have some more transphobia from the quartering. Someone tells him to debate Keffels and he responds, I only debate women, I am a feminist. Someone says debate Keffels pussy and the quartering responds that they have a penis, which isn't even true, but even if it was, still very blatantly transphobic. Keffels rightfully calls this out, but in a way that I heavily disagree with. She says, Hey meta PCs, are you okay with one of the people who you sponsor using their massive platform to harass transgender people? Mova Globes, Self Underwear, Bespoke's Post. As you were also sponsoring the quartering, please have a look at this. Sponsoring massive content creators who engage in bigotry and direct harassment towards them is terrible optics for your businesses. Now, what the quartering said is just so blatantly bigoted like the most mask off I've ever seen any content creator really be towards a trans person other than crazy alt writers. Almost every transphobic thing the quartering could have said, he did say. But I think we should call him out for just that and let sponsors decide on their own after seeing that whether or not they want to continue working with him of their own volition rather than calling them out and forcing their hand. I'm sure when all of these sponsors signed on the quartering, they didn't know he was going to say this stuff and obviously none of these companies are a fan of transphobia. I know for sure Meta PCs isn't, as I wouldn't be working with them otherwise. So if you ever want to get a PC from Meta PCs, be sure to use code BOBLAX and not code the quartering. I'm pretty sure you're going to get a better discount with my code anyway. Anyways, this is when Ricky Berwick enters the picture. Leftist Baby responds to Kevil's tweet by saying, guess I'll stop buying from Meta PCs, and Ricky reacts with this Twitter video. Shut up, you never bought from them. Leftist Baby responds, what? I totally have. This is fake news. <laughs> My record said you didn't, buddy. Ricky Berwick then makes a response directly to Keffels, where he says this. Why are you attacking my fucking company? I own this shit. What the hell are you doing? Casper responds to Ricky by saying, why are you sponsoring transphobes? To which Ricky responds by saying this. Shut your fucking ass up. EAM responds to Ricky by saying, shut up, nobody cares about you. To which Ricky quote tweets him and says, that's cute. EAM responds by saying, you're transphobe, that says much about you. Which I in fact didn't know. Ricky comments on this by saying, Twitter moment. Someone then responds to EAM. The tweet is private though, so I don't know what it says, but I assume they are asking proof of Ricky being a transphobe because EAM responded to them by saying, go to his latest tweets. And then Ricky responds by saying this. Oh yes, let's go to my latest tweets. Going back to the original Keffel's tweet calling out Meta PCs, Ricky quote tweets her and says, Use code tongue at Meta PCs. Patty Thirst responds to this by saying, This shit is weird as hell. Seems like something a teen would do. Not sure if you're a transphobe or just kind of clueless, but it speaks volumes that you have droves of transphobes defending you. Ricky responds by saying this. Neither. I'm crippled. And I have messy hair, you wanna cut it? Patty responds, Bro, you responded to someone questioning your role in ongoing bigotry with a cheeky sale. Winking at your transphobic audience and you responded to my tweet with your hair. So that's what I'll respond to. I do not because I don't know how to cut hair. Your hair looks fine to me though. Ricky responds by saying this. I think I should just leave my hair, let it grow out more, but how's your day? 
Cavill's responds to Ricky saying code tongue by saying based Ricky Berwick. Ricky then responds to Keffels with this Twitter video. Keffels, you sound like a cereal. Anyways, let's not let's not attack meta PCs here. It's it's Jeremy. Jeremy's the one you want, okay? Not this company. Not not my company. Swear to fucking God, Keffels. Swear to fucking god. Keffels responds, I don't hate Meta, I just hate Jeremy. Hope all the best for you, Ricky. Ricky then responds with this video. We can all hate Jeremy, like coffee brand coffee. Fuck that shit. But don't bring brands into this, alright? Don't don't do that. Don't it's not it's not cool. It's not cool for everyone else. Someone with a Funky Kong profile picture responded to Ricky by saying, Is slandering someone with one of the worst allegations known to man any better, Ricky? Genuine question. How is what Keffel's doing anything short of self-defense at this point? Ricky responds by saying, Young Crip comedy does it every day. Why isn't anyone yelling at him? To which Young Crip responds, Slander? Me? Well, I never. Bugass responds to Ricky by saying, Hey Ricky, you were cool and all, but shut the fuck up. Respectfully. Hey, you shut the fuck up, bro. Respect it, leave my fucking ass! Casty's tumor responds to Ricky by saying, Ricky, I love you, man. I remember when you liked my tweet and made my day. But this shit is unacceptable. Please just apologize and make amends with Keffels. Apologize to my fucking... Tumor replies, Ricky, I am trying to be reasonable. I still think that this is a big misunderstanding. Please just try to find some common ground with Clara and end this shit fest. Bro, what the fuck are you talking about? No one's fighting! I'm being fucking civil! Bugass jumps back in when he says, Fuck the brands. We're talking about human rights, Ricky. And when it comes to human rights, I don't give a fuck about your money or the economy. So you need to pick a side or shut the fuck up! Respectably, Ricky then responds by saying this. Uh, bro, that's too much. I can't even fucking stand. So at this point, the conversation between Keffels and Ricky in particular is pretty civil on Twitter. So when the hell does she start calling him a Nazi? That's what we're really here for. Well, you're in luck because it starts right now. She shows this picture from November 2021, where Ricky shares his Flurnx NFT and Stone Toss, the creator of that NFT, responding with a meme. And she captions this by saying, I was confused why Ricky Berwick was defending the quartering misgendering me and being transphobic with his huge platform. And then I found out he's friends with neo-Nazi cartoonist Stone Toss and was shilling Stone Toss NFTs. Tanisa responds to her by saying, He's not defending him for being transphobic. He's saying that you going after the quartering sponsors isn't cool. Keffels then responds, So he was defending him then. Log1K responds to Keffels by saying, Hey Tizzy Ent, what do you have to say about Ricky Berwick openly harassing a trans creator and supporting neo-Nazis? Just wondering since your whole thing is callouts. Ricky responds to him by saying this. Oh, that's not what happened there. Ricky then responds directly to Keffel saying he's friends of a neo-Nazi with this Twitter video. <laughs> Lawn chair owner quote tweets Ricky and says, I'll grant Keffel's this. She extremely easily got Ricky Berwick to go full on mask off. Lol. <laughs> you must be new. <laughs> you must be really new. Ricky then follows up his tweet to Keffels with a picture of his hand and a couple DMs sent between him and Keffels. The first DM is from Ricky and he says, You want to be sponsored? I'm thinking a rivalry between you and the quartering, but instead of this toxic drama, you just fuck each other up by throwing computers at each other. Let me know. I'll make the contract up. Keffels responds, I am 100% down. To which Ricky responds, This is a joke laughing my ass off. I have no control. Not with these hands. Which is why he shared a picture of his hand in that tweet. Saka says, you are trying so hard to stay relevant. To which Ricky responds, I don't have to try. Communal Orange responds to Ricky by saying, My brother in Christ, the same people you were defending would have you killed for being a genetic failure. Whoa. Rainbow Wilson says, This is actually pretty sad coming from you, not gonna lie. Ugh. The shit I ate today. <laughs> The shit I ate today was pretty sad, bro. Ash and Ash responds by saying, Dude, this legitimately is not a good look on you. Stone Toss is an actual neo-Nazi propagandist who layers his messaging in satire, just going, whoa, when people point this out, and defending a dude calling Keffels a groomer has actually made me lose a lot of respect for you. For those of you who don't know, this whole beef between Keffels and the quartering started off with the quartering calling her a groomer for whatever reason. Regardless, Ash continues by saying, which I 
generally had a lot of considering I respected you a ton for overcoming a disability and using it to entertain and inspire others who may have similar disabilities. Ricky then responds by saying this. Listen man, I haven't talked to that Stone Toss guy in like six months. But your mom on the other hand, oh my god, yesterday was fine. Soup602781117 quote tweeted Ricky sharing the DMs by saying, People think this is an own? Ricky obviously isn't going to sponsor a game of computer dodgeball between Keffels and the quartering so they can say they are down. Like, this is the most tame, damn exposed laughing my ass off tweet I've ever seen in my life. Are you a Marvel or DC fan? Soup6027817 responds to Ricky by saying, Marvel, because they actually spent time and money recording a scene of Fat Thor playing Fortnite unironically. Any adult male that can't look at Nikocado's back hole in the eye needs to immediately turn in their man card. Ricky responds in full agreeance. Joel Bindo responds to Ricky by saying, Bizarre behavior to defend a person who idolizes a political ideology that would have murdered you because of your disability. Ricky responds, We talking about young Crip? Jolie responds, Talking about Stone. Toss. Young Crip responds, Stone Toss wants us dead so bad that he treats us with respect and talks friendly to us. What a bigot. Jolie responds, Did I say he personally wants you dead? Or that he idolizes a political ideology that did? Try not being friends with Nazis. Young Crip quote tweets him and says, Okay, so, we are both disabled and Nazis don't like disabled people, but we are also friends with supposed Nazis, so logically, they shouldn't like us. Except, they do. So I guess that means, they are not actually Nazis. Problem solved. That's it. This is your last tweet for tonight. Go to bed. You done your job. Keffels continues tweeting about Ricky when she says, He leaked my DMs, so I might as well do the same. Dude is friends with members of the alt-right and neo-Nazis, and calls bigotry against the trans community drama. She then shows two DMs from Ricky Berwick. They say, This shit is the internet. You can tell people not to do something. They are going to do the opposite. And this shit is drama. You shouldn't care what other people say or think about you, ever. Real world or internet. Transsexual Anarchy CEO responds by saying, Ricky Berwick, you deserve everything bad that's coming your way. Ricky responds by saying this. Trust me, bro. Nothing's worse than these fucking limbs. Trans Anarchy responds by saying, Besides your behavior, which I was criticizing, but cool that you pull the whole identity politics thing when it's convenient for you, lol. Caramelized Boy responds by saying, First of all, you deserve everything bad that's coming your way is not criticism. Second of all, he's clearly joking, laughing my ass off. Anarchy responds, In response to the original tweet, which was that Ricky thinks it's cool to sponsor literal neo-Nazis, I said nothing about his condition, nor would I. Caramelized Boy responds, I think it's a reasonable take to think sponsoring neo-Nazis is bad, though I disagree the quartering is a neo-Nazi. You claimed Ricky is unironically appealing to identity politics, and that you deserve bad things is criticism. So I stand by my statement. Anarchy responds, I mean, he's using his disability as a shield from very valid criticism, and then used it in reply to my condemnation of his shitty actions. That's literally appealing to identity politics. Ricky responds with this Twitter video. I know nothing about politics, but I know Joe Biden likes ice cream. Ricky then responds directly to Keffel's leaking their DMs by saying this. People call me crippled every single day. I just want to be, I just want to be human. Boom responds to Ricky by saying, are you friends with Stone Toss? Do you like him? Ricky responds by saying this. I know him. I spoke to him. I memed with him. But I don't think we're friends. Urko Bird responds, So if you're not friends, was the Stone Toss NFT post a paid endorsement then? Ricky responds by saying this, I didn't get shit. I didn't want shit. Fuck NFTs. I did it for the meme. Data D responds by saying, Laughing my ass off, more appeals for sympathy instead of, say, an apology or an explanation for defending bigots. I don't hate you because of your condition. I hate you because you're an asshole and using your condition as a shield. You were defending people who were actively misgendering, harassing, and encouraging the harassment of transgender people because it might hurt your bottom line. Ricky responds by saying this. Actually, it's not that fucking deep. I only have one brain cell. 
Data D responds, I'm not even going to listen to that. Go fuck yourself. Ricky quote tweets him and says, can someone tell him what I said? To which Data D responds, was it you disavowing Stone Toss and explaining why it sounds like you were trying to sweep transphobia under the rug? Or was it something stupid and indicative of you not taking the situation seriously? Either way, nice attempt at sicking your brain dead followers on me. Bro, you just finding words and making a sentence out of it. Good job. Vera responds to Ricky's previous response to Keffels by saying, Oh, how the mighty have fallen. I know, man. Since 1992, I've been stuck on this fucking floor. Oh, had the mighty have fallen indeed. May responds to Ricky's tweet to Keffels by saying, Stop using your disability as a defense mechanism against criticism when the subject matter is entirely unrelated. That kind of behavior literally contributes to ableism, which is apparently what you want to change the subject to at this moment in time. You are a pathetic coward. Ricky quote tweets her and says, I can't believe I'm ableist. To which unreasonable bitch responds, I've respected you for a long time. Could you at least denounce the transphobia? I didn't. Ricky also quote tweets Keffel's tweet calling him friends with the neo-Nazi by saying LOL to which Lilac responds keep laughing while you lose shit tons of your audience for being exposed as a transphobe piece of shit. Ricky responds oh geez. Someone called a friend to all response to Keffels by saying, Yeah, Ricky has been pretty outwardly right wing for a while now. Ricky responds by saying, LOL, I'm not political. I only know how to shove things up my ass. Young Crip responds to Ricky by saying, Yeah, but who do you think taught you how to do it? Showing a picture of Ricky and his mentor Adolf Hitler. Ricky responds, This isn't funny and will never be funny. A couple days later, Keffels promotes her stream by saying, Responding to Quartering's video about me and talking about how both him and Ricky Berwick directly financially supported a neo-Nazi and indirectly use their platforms to promote Holocaust denial, anti-Semitism, transphobia, and scientific racism. Mask Maker responds by saying, he also encouraged his audience to harass me after I called out someone for their use of the R word. So you can add ableism to that pile. He then shows a tweet where Zellori says, Twitter is full of retards. Let's ruin the career of a 17 year old by trying to get them deplatformed and nuke his bank accounts. So that way he learns his lesson. What? How in any fucking universe would that work? Plaguemaster2005 then responds, Wow, the R word? That's a slur. Not cool, mate. And then Ricky Berwick quote tweets him and says, It's not a slur. Educate and socialize better. Ricky Berwick then responds to Mask Maker's tweet by saying this, Sorry, buddy. Education is not harassment. And it's social media. Everyone's gonna see your shit and your shitty views. Mask Maker responds, Bruh, your education is just brainwashing. You and your friend Young Crip are some of the saddest cry bullies I've ever met. You punch down on strong autistic people and accuse them of playing the victim when they fight back. Fuck off. And then Ricky Berwick quote tweets him to say, lol, I'm brainwashing people. And that's about it for the drama between Keffels and Ricky Berwick. As someone who is personally brainwashed by Ricky Berwick, I do have to promote his sponsor MetaPC and mention that you can use code Boblox for a discount. But on a more serious note, I do love Ricky's responses to all of these criticisms. No matter how much shit he's getting, no matter how he did it get, he never takes the internet too seriously, which is honestly a mentality I think more people should have. But regardless of what I think, I would love to hear what you guys think about this in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe with notifications on. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.